Hey there, today we're taking apart a Samsung CLP365W printer. I did, a, did some other videos where I showed how to take particular parts off, um, such as uh, transfer belt, the drum, and the fuser. But this one we're going to just go ahead and remove everything that is on the printer um, as much as possible. And I'll show you where everything is located. And um, we'll just work on this together. So this is a color laser jet from Samsung. CLP365W. Um, there are similar models to it and have similar builds. So we're going to start, we're going to need a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and we're just going to start by removing parts that are easy to remove such as trays. We're going to pull this one out. This is the output tray to remove it. We're just going to press in the middle, push it to one side, um, press in the middle and pull it out. Make sure these tabs don't break. and in reverse to put it back in. So this is where our cartridges are. There was some mess in here in this printer, so I'm there's parts that are not that are out of their life that I'm not going to be using anymore. So I'll just take this printer apart. We're not going to be putting it back back together. So anything that you need to put back, um, other videos where I take other parts off, I do have. I show how to remove part, uh, put the parts back, but in this video I won't. So basically, we're just taking apart. So um, if you are repairing a printer and you need to get to certain parts, uh, just take pictures as you go or make video so you can um, play it in reverse and kind of see where everything goes. Um, this is the waste toner, toner waste uh, tank. Now we're re uh, re removing the drum unit. If you're replacing a transfer belt unit, just make sure you cover this with something if you don't want it get ex to get exposed to the light um, and damage it. So we're gonna flip the printer on its side and there's two parts that we're gonna remove here. This is the laser unit and the roller in here. I'll show you how to do that. So there are a few um, there's four screws one there, here, there that we're gonna remove uh, maybe just three so you know we remove those for a laser unit Then we're going to gently remove it. There is wiring over here. Disconnect this and one on this side. And it, it, the cord is just glued on here. So carefully remove it without ripping it right here. This is our laser unit. To remove the pickup roller, just to clean it or if you're replacing it, you need to press this tab, pull it away, this one right here. So you can use a fingernail or you can use a flathead screwdriver. So this tab we're pulling back and pushing this wheel up like so. And then you can just take this roller out. So it goes in between here like so, twisting it and putting it in place when you're putting it back. So, get it out. Here we go. And that's on a lot of the uh, Samsung printers is gonna be very similar to this. So now we head to the front of the printer to remove this tray this is the piece that's holding it back, so we're just gonna lift this or push this tab back, this tab that we see right here. I'm just gonna use this, push it back, and then we're gonna slide the front door to the right, like so. And it's out now. The connection cord is right here. 
So we're just going to lift this and press this tab over here and pull it out. This is our front door. It's very simple to replace. If you're having issues with the uh, reading the toner cartridges that, that are there, it could be that problem, those sensors in there. So this is what we have inside of the printer for now. We still have the transfer belt in there. We're going to remove that, disconnect it right here. Then go to the back of the printer. We're going to lower this. And then there's tabs over here that we're going to remove. They just go down. Same thing on this side. It's a white tab that you see right here. It goes a little bit up to the right and then down. That releases the transfer belt. Now that's out. Okay. So now we're just going to continue by removing all the... Here, I'll remove this over here. We're going to remove the screws here on this one. And then we're just going to continue to removing other parts. Here, I'll just put these back so they're not in the way. Some of these screws are already removed, so it could be very simple. I'm going to flip the printer on its side. And then we're going to lift the side over here. In the previous video, I just removed it from here, like so. So I'm just slightly lifting this panel. That should release. And then the sides with the flathead screwdriver. And definitely open. Unlatch the back. Then to remove the sides, we're just gonna pull this up over here. And there's arrows on this side that you can see. That's the front of the printer that we just also pull up. You can see how dusty it is in there. So there was some ink last while transporting the printer and arrows over here so this is one of the power supply boards pretty dusty in here but we're gonna remove it anyway so we have a few screws here and there's springs behind it that you definitely don't want to lose. So just be careful with that. Here, I'll set this down. So to replace this, you just need to remove um, one side. So just the back side of the printer and then four or five screws on the board. There are some connections on it. And pull this up. Pull this to the right. Connections over here. Just pull them down. Out. These two down. Okay, so these are the springs that I was talking about. Make sure you don't lose them if you're trying to um, repair the printer. Now let's go to this side. To remove the top, it's fairly simple. Uh, there's two screws up front. You pull this front and forward and um, unlatch this here. Actually,
pull it out and it's just gonna slide out of here okay then let's disconnect these here before we actually pull them this is where the control panel is so fairly simple Pulls right out and this is the wireless board right here it's not screwed in it's just clamped in Now we have the um, the formatter board or the main board over here. I'm just gonna disconnect this from it. This is the drive motor right here. So I'm gonna remove printer main board I'll gently pull it out okay now this is the power board I'm gonna remove the cover first there's two screws that hold the cover And we need to remove this cover in order to uh, let go of this fuser, um, fuser cord that goes there. Our cords for the fuser are now free to go. We're just going to disconnect everything else from here. To be careful with that. Okay, this is the board. Now to remove um, the motor, you don't need to remove these little screws here, it's just four screws on here. Kind of around the drum of the motor. Okay, we got that off. And now we need to disconnect it and pull it out. This is what it looks like. So this is the connection uh, board right here. Um, now we're just going to get to the fuser. I'm going to open the back pressure roller to replace that one we just need to pull it to one side and remove it just make sure you put the spring where it is supposed to be when you're putting a new one in and the fuser is attached by four screws If you want to watch just the fuser replacement video, if we have it, and uh, check it down, check it out in the link down below. And uh, you don't need to, of course, take apart a printer like so. Um, take these down like we did for the transfer belt. And our fuser unit is now free to go. And to replace it, it's fairly simple for this model. Um, so we got all the parts off. You can see what the problem was here with this one. Um, there's some ink got everywhere. Not sure why it was genuine Samsung ink in there and it did this mess, maybe in the transport. Um, but anyway, we got this all taken care of. Um, this roller, the exit roller, to you just move it like so. I'm not sure if you saw that, but it goes right here. So you just move it this way and out. So this is replaceable. Also, you can always clean this to if you're having paper jams at the exit or the paper's not being fed. Just clean those rollers without taking them off, and you should be good. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I was able to help you. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with others. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.